So for this job, we're going to use this humble uh, grease gun here. This lever here will pump like that and force grease up through the tube going into the fittings. While we have the front tires off of the van, this is the front of the vehicle, we are going to lube and grease the, uh, the, the front end of this car, which is to say all of these little fittings that allow uh, grease to get down in tie rods, A-arms, um, ball joints, various parts that allow the uh, vehicle to ride smoothly and the steering to turn smoothly. Um, you pump them full of grease intermittently. This is a bit of an older style. Some newer vehicles um, have sealed uh, components that you aren't able to lube, um, but a lot of older cars that you'll work on, and this 2004 van has it, you'll see these fittings right here. Um, and you can pump things full of grease and allow it to not wear. Components will last longer. Come take a look at, at what's going on here. <clears throat> is, I want to know if this is normal or not. So there is some grease that when you filled that full, oozed out right there at the bottom of the ball mm -hmm. joint. Is that okay? Uh, yes. That, that's when you want to quit because you, you're full. There's a little rubber boot there. Uh huh. And that rubber boot, if you get it too full, grease comes out. Oh, but, okay. So three pumps might work for you instead of four. Cool. Now what else on this side of the car should we lube? You've got a lower ball joint down here. Lower ball joint. Tie rod in, and here's your idler arm right here. You got two fittings on it. Okay. And uh, that, and there's one up here. Okay. And then that's it. I will zoom in on each of these as I do the job. Yeah, and then we'll do it to the same thing to both sides. Uh, this this bottom this this lower ball joint one is pretty gross I bet. from all the road grime and various things. I bet. There we go, and let me cap the ones over here. Bottom of this tie rod is also really filthy. Mm -hmm. Yuck! You can see this this grease One, flaking two, away. Three, four, five. Yep. Okay, there's five over here, and then you got uh, what? Four more over there. And your then your grease. A lot of vehicles in the manual will have a. Uh, Maintenance intervals, it'll have recommended maintenance at so many miles. I think you're good. How about back here? Oh. Yeah, right here on the inside of this. I see it. That's the other tie rod end, right? Yes, the inner tie rod end, yes. anything actually went up in here. Uh, well, if it didn't, it would have oozed out the bottom. A little bit did, but not a lot. I, I did three pumps. Uh, I mean, not, not much oozed out on this one here. Shove it up on there all the way. Here, hold it. Let's loosen this up a touch. Now will it go snap up on there? <clears throat> oh, it's on. Okay, here we go. Oh, I felt it going in. Okay, we're done. Okay. Now, I would only give these two pumps each. And this should just snap off? Yeah. If it won't loosen up, that, there you go. So I didn't realize that when I was doing that before. These kind of snap on to these fittings. There, I felt that snap on. Okay, go ahead. Oh, there's a bee flying around. Two. Okay. Oh, I see it oozing out. Okay. Great. We'll turn the wheel, we can get to that one. Okay. Okay, we can do the other side. And then I always wipe off the excess. Alright, I'll show you the other side and then I'll go ahead and um, grease them off camera. Because it's the same principle, but you can really see now those lube points there, there, and there. Yeah, these are hard to see, but they're up in behind. 
And over here, on this side of the front of the car, it is the same principle. Top. And that is the basics of lubing the front end of a car.